YouTube fam, it's me, the Three Wheel Traveler, back again with another short video, and this video is about the Torque 2.0 Universal Coat Heating System. So, as you can see, I've got uh, all three versions here, and what I mean, I got all three sizes, small, medium, and large. Uh, I picked these up. Uh, off of eBay I've had the, the two top I've had the uh, the um, the large and the medium but today I'm going to install uh, the small for my girlfriend so so inside the box you would get uh, your choice of sides this is the size that you either choose one small medium or large and like I said uh, this one is about the small so every box will come with a user manual that has several different instructions of the different uh, items that they sell and what we're going to concern ourselves with is the uh, talk 2.0 coat heater okay as outlined in the uh, the center page page six and seven of the owner's manual okay so inside the box, you'll get uh, six pads, six different uh, uh, soft-sided Velcro strips, adhesive Velcro strips. As you can see, these two are the original. These are the ones that I had to purchase off of eBay in order to uh, complete the system. But you would normally get six. So it'll be three per jacket because, as you can see up there, that it has uh, three different panels okay left panel center panel for your back and then right panel for the other side of your chest all right uh, additionally it'll come with a USB A USB A to micro USB cord charge cord it'll come with a 5 volt a 5 volt uh, battery that has a USB A, a, a micro USB. This part, this is for charging the battery. This is for using the battery as a backup uh, power bank for a uh, cellular device. And it'll also have three, I mean, uh, four LED battery level indicator lights it'll also have an on and off switch on one side that allows you to turn the battery on and turn the battery off respectively and it'll come with a AC USB A input uh, AC wall adapter so to try to be quick with this, uh, I've used this I've used this system before, and I just wanted to show you how I get mine. How do I install mine? So this, as you, <coughs> this is going to go inside of my girlfriend's medium jacket. This is one of her all-weather jackets. Okay, so. to show you how I install it with my uh, template this template lets me uh, place the uh, adhesive pad just where I want it to be okay additionally I mean you could just pull the backing off of each uh, Velcro soft-sided adhesive pad and stick it right to your jacket but I've learned that for me this helps if I uh, use additional adhesive and I'm using Loctite uh, spray high performance adhesive middleweight bonding okay to adhere this to the jacket 
so and I do it like this I, I make sure I know where I want to place place it at and then I saturate the area that's going to be the where the pad is going to go so when you're installing this you got to make sure that where you put your velcro adhesive pad that the fabric around it is not folded in any way so that it adheres and is clean so that it adheres uh, evenly to each side so with the back panel uh, sprayed in place the way I plan on putting it I go to the side panel and the side I mean the chest panel I like to put it right at the zipper close to the zipper so that when I spray this this is going to be right there on the inner liner So that that one's done and it's recommended that you let this dry a little bit so that the uh, stickiness starts to uh, work so you want to make sure that you place it evenly and as you can see I got it half up top half on this line and I'm going to do the same on this side by putting my template again right where the zipper would go and it will be half and half yeah so this is not it's, it shouldn't be this difficult but I'm just trying to do it right by her so with that did got it in the proper place that I want it to be So that's how that would go. So while the the chest pieces are drying, uh, you can go ahead and install the back piece. And like I said, remove it. Place it on the material and push it down. The extra adhesives will help it bond to the material and less likely to come apart during use. And I take my second and my third piece, the chest pieces, and do the same thing being that I already know where it's going to be I'll go ahead and remove the pieces go ahead and remove the backing from the velcro from the adhesive side of the velcro and what's best is if you just remove a little piece and allow yourself to put that just where you want it like I said then once you got it set put it in stretching your fabric making sure that there's no wrinkles in there and apply 
the adhesive apply the adhesive to the jacket so it's recommended that before using this with the heating system is that you let it dry for at least 24 hours so I'm going to go ahead to the last side the last piece and do the same thing by removing partially removing the backing from the uh, soft sided velcro adhesive pad making sure that I place this in right where I want it pulling the fabric of the jacket to make sure that it's not folded and putting the adhesive pad in the spot that I sprayed yeah there's a slight there's some overspray as you can see on the jacket but that will rub off with time as long as the velcro pad is gonna fit inside there so this is what that would look like once you put it in okay the back piece will go in chest piece would go in notice that the wires are up underneath the armpit and the other chest piece would go in. Then, how this system works is you go ahead and insert your battery. You put your battery in the pocket. take your you take your USB wire that's connected to the system you plug it in plug it into your battery then you turn the battery on And the light comes on the indicator light so once you see that now you can cycle through you turn it on by pushing and holding it comes on and goes through the cycles green blue and red red is the highest push it once that's the medium and the last level is green which is the lower level I would recommend you start off with it um, on the lower level and then if it's too chilly then of course you would go to the medium and then go to the high to cut it off push and hold the button again it'll go off or you can just remove just disconnect the battery and store the cable back inside so this system that's how so that's how this system works that's what installation looks like if you have any leave all your questions in the comment section like share and subscribe three wheel traveler out